back at it again with the London versus Queens Indian, fourth video in the series. So, first of all, it's a little bit different than when we see the, the immediate D5. It's going to be either C5 or B6 to get to the Queens Indian, and we're typically going to get these structures. That key idea is since d5 is not played, the c4 square is open, and we're looking to drop our knight into d6. So regardless of how I show you the move order, this is probably the most common move order, but this is the stem of all the ideas that if they play d5, we're going to have knight e5, and then we're looking to play knight g5, and it's just murder on the f7 square. So this is uh, the typical trick that we're looking to employ. All right, so coming back here, let's first look at this example game with d5, e3, b6, and when we can't get our knight to c4, we're going to play in this manner, and I really like this position. You're looking for bishop b5 for the pins and stuff, and knight e5, and this was such an easy position for white to play and we just get a reasonable game and I think this was one of uh, the games Eric Rosen played um, when I looked up his account he's really solid with the London system and has a great video on YouTube on how to play the London system it's a little bit um, theory intensive for lower rated players which is one of the reasons I made this series for my students uh, so uh, definitely take a look at that respect um, where he wins this game relatively easily but it's a little bit outside the scope here. C5 is going to be the main main move. And after C5, we've got E3, B6, and it's the same same situation again. Knight BD2, Bishop B7, and then Knight C4. Again, we'd love to drop in there because if takes takes, we got the bishop pair in an open position. Black can't castle easily. It's already a uh, not a fun game to play. And here's another example game with d5, knight ce5. And if he does something like c4, thank you for playing. I mean, this is this is just stupid. Not fun at all. And you're just getting murdered out of the opening. And I'll go ahead and show the, the rest of this game. But, I mean, this is a game between two masters. Josh Colas was playing black here. And Colas is a great player. He, in fact, beat me in the pro league in a game. But in this game, he got crushed in 21 moves. So you got to take even a solid system like the London uh, seriously. Otherwise, you can get rolled out of the opening. So that's, that's that key idea that we're looking for is after knight c5, we're looking to play knight g5. So normally it's knight bd7. So if knight g5 is played, you can play knight takes e5 and you're all right. And then bishop b5 is the move. And then we go with knight g5. We stop the idea of knight takes e5. So after a takes b, we have these wonderfully delicious tactics. And white's already better here. And just to, for completionist's sake, I'll show you guys the rest of the game. But again, it's just you, you take your advantage and then try to trade down effectively. He gets his king safe. And he just does work. I love it. And with the extra exchange, the position falls apart. And we win the B, ending the discussion. So, to rehash again, we're looking at this knight d2, knight c4, anytime we're facing the Queen's Indian. If they play d6, now this is the next scenario. We can't play knight d6. This, I think, is going to be the most common thing. And for instance, uh, somebody who plays like the Queen's Indian structure or Nimzo Indian structure should be paying attention right now. Yeah. <laughs> so this is how you play this. So after 1A4 to secure the position to prevent B5, you want to go Knight H5 here. Because on Bishop G5, Queen C7, this seems pretty reasonable for both sides and this is what I recommended as the main line as a playable position for both players and you're looking to play it a lot like a Sicilian playing C takes D4 
I don't know if you want to commit a6 because he could go a5 at some point and knight b6. So keep that in mind that it's a little bit different than the hedgehog structure. But I'm trying to hit multiple guys in the room repertoire when I'm doing these to show you with black. You want to make sure you're playing d6 quick uh, to prevent that knight c4, knight d6 idea. But you want to hold back on a6. Um, another idea was after a4, if bishop e7. If white goes dc5, I don't really recommend this. It trades a bunch, but in this case, you got knight d6 check, and thank you for playing today. So hopefully this, this makes you more wary playing against a London system if you're playing the Queen's Indian against it. Uh, you want to play a quick cd4 if you're playing black or uh, go for that system that I just recommended, just stay in solid. All right, that does it for London system against Queen's Indian. One video left.